Well, the American Cancer Society reports that breast cancer numbers have risen by 5% in recent years. Today in Waco, reporter Matt Lively walked with some of the 3.8 million survivors in the United States. Waco was full of pink walkers on Sunday morning at the 2021 Coleman Central Texas More Than Pink Walk as they raised money to help detect, prevent, and ultimately cure breast cancer. I am a three-time breast cancer survivor, a volunteer with Coleman, and an advocate for breast cancer. Marcy Thomas is a true fighter. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1994, 1997, and in 2018. She has fought the deadly sickness off three times and is now serving as the ultimate advocate to get tested and receive treatment. She was one of the many women and men survivors around Central Texas who celebrated, raised awareness, and funds on Sunday. The main walk was held in Austin, but a satellite virtual event was held in Waco with many survivors still coming to walk as a group. Thomas says that the support of her family, her team, and the community is a critical part of fighting off cancer at Komen Walks. It, it's very uplifting, very uplifting. It, it, you know, as, as you know, cancer in general doesn't discriminate, if you will. So there is all walks in uh, ages and colors and uh, mostly women, but it is happening in men too. I've met a couple of gentlemen that had breast cancer over the years. So, you know, it, it's just a great community to come out and support each other. Um, but I would reiterate, don't put off any treatment. If you think you have an issue, don't, don't put it off. There are more than 254 counties that the Susan G. Komen Foundation serves, and the organization reports that over 10,000 people in Texas contact them weekly for information. In Waco, Matt Lively, 6 News.